Edel Dynamics recently posted their 2023 and beyond video, and there's a lot of really exciting stuff that they showcased. Let's get into it. As you might expect, the main stars of the show were the Rasbam F-15E Strike Eagle and the Heatler F-4E Phantom II. There are also a lot of improved 3D models for various in-game assets such as the B-1B, B-52H, and S-3B. Some of the most noteworthy items though have nothing to do with the new content. As stated in the video, all footage was captured using NVIDIA DLSS and multi-threading both of which means some serious performance improvements, particularly for people with budget hardware like myself and many of you. We also got a look at the upcoming C-130 module and the Magnitude Simulations or Leatherneck F4U Corsair and the Marianas World War II map as well. There's definitely some cool footage here, especially with the new S3 Viking external model and the B-52 flying so low over the water next to an aircraft carrier. We also get another look at the upcoming Normandy 2 map, including a really great view of Paris with the Eiffel Tower in the distance. Aside from some more World War II action, which hopefully means more World War II assets, some more Phantom, scenery and a battlefield with Israeli Merkavas, a dogfight, and the A4, which really interests me. It kind of makes me wonder if maybe it's going to get developed as an official module. Hopefully that will be free, if so, maybe like the Mariana Islands map. And here we get to see the OH-58D for a brief moment here, as it cuts to scenes of the F4 and the Apache. We get more World War II scenery here, and I'm really liking these effects. This looks like a new missile rocket motor effect. And of course, can't do without the U-boats. A lot of low altitude and high altitude action here, both World War II and present day. Wow, look at the fireball, and oh, those B-1s are about to just d destroy whatever that is. And more airfield bombing really really liking these effects this looks fantastic oh napalm and yeah planes getting blasted apart the f-15e again and we get to see those big j-79s the a4 again which really interests me nice splash there from that f-15e We've got more Phantom action again. I'm really looking forward to that Phantom. Oof, those effects, man. Those are great. And here's the climax, or, well, sort of. And we get to see the ending of the main portion of the video. So this is what we can expect going forward. But wait, there's more. Yeah, that's a really complicated cockpit right there. Obviously a helicopter. And in fact... Wait for it, wait for it. Rotor's turning. And yes, VCH-47 Chinook. Yep, you guessed it. Not a favorite of mine, but well, it's going to be interesting to see how that shakes out. I'm really excited for a lot of the stuff that they have showcased in this video, and I hope you are as excited as I am, particularly for what they may end up doing with the A4. We can only theorize about that. But for right now, that's all I've got other than this World War II footage, which kind of makes me wonder if we're going to get an F6F Hellcat at some point. But that's pretty much it, and I'll see you in the next video.